Hey everybody, it's Smitty here. Uh, I'm here with my friend Dave. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Uh, we are going to be attempting to put up an antenna today. Dave has a G5 RV, which is an HF antenna. It's a multi-band antenna. And as you can see, he's got a really nice property for it. Up there is a very large tree over which we are going to attempt to hang the center. And there are more very large trees over in that direction to hang one end and other very large trees behind that building over there that you can kind of see where we are going to hang the other end. That will make the antenna be kind of an omni. It won't be directly straight, but it'll be pretty darn close. We have a crossbow. We have some bolts in a quiver over there. And we've got some fishing line and a yellow rope that we are going to try and use to get some uh, antennas hung up in trees. Well, let's see how well it works. So what we're looking at here is a G5 RV antenna. Uh, you'll note in this spot it's got a center insulator. Ah, come on. It's got a center insulator. There's nothing electrical here. It's just taking one leg of the twin lead to one of the, uh, the kind of the dipole-ish wires and the other leg to the other side. There's no ballon here or any other active components or uh, reactive components. It's literally just a center insulator. It is fed with some length of twin lead here, 300 ohm twin lead, and then it's got two wires hanging out on either side, very much like a dipole. Um, I don't understand the, the electrical properties of it, but having this length of twin lead, hang on, comes over here, and then it just junctions with some coax. Just straight up tie the wire, where is it? There it is. Just straight up tie the center conductor to one side and the shield to the other. Um, and through electrical magic, that section of twin lead becomes a matching network, and it's actually an active part of the antenna. And then the two wires get strung up like a dipole. So the ladder line comes down as if it were part of the feed point of the dipole, and then those two blue wires are just, they get hung up, uh, you know, ends in trees like a dipole. This is the antenna that my friend Dave has and is going to be strung up. So that's we're gonna try and put the center part of this up in the tree. That's the first part we're gonna to attempt to hang. And then the two ends will get hung in trees nearby. All right, so here's Dave with his crossbow, loaded up with a bolt and a rope tied to it. We got the rope down here coiled up, so hopefully it should be free to go. This is a test shot against the tree to see whether the bolt holds onto the rope or not. That's fine with the truck. In three, two, one. It pulls it very hard. Pulls very hard. No surprise. That was a problem with the rope, though. The rope needs to be coiled up in front of me. Yeah. Okay, let's try again. All right. Crossbow with bolt that has rope on it. Take two. Rope is coiled in front between target and shooter. I am three, two, one. Still pulls. Incredibly hard. Ah, oh, that didn't work. All right. Test number three, moving the rope to the center of the shaft. In three, two, one. That, Farther. That works. There is a trajectory to it now. Okay. So as long as we compensate for the trajectory, that'll get it a couple dozen feet. Up into the air. Now, that's we where we're heading. How far it'll climb. All right, last one worked so well, we're gonna try again. Uh, but this time we're gonna be shooting up into that tree. That's a theory anyway. Uh, rope is in the same spot. We've got a much bigger coil here on the ground because, you know, optimism. optimism. Let me get behind you, stand by. Do not stand on the rope. I'd go as high as you can point, or about halfway up the tree maybe. I don't want to point in too direct of an angle straight up. So Fair enough. Halfway or a little further up. In three, two, one. Not going to get there. I didn't think that was going to work out. Or I don't think it's going to work out. That was as much force as we had on it? Yeah. With the... With the rope lifting the arrow up a little bit off of the channel, or the bolt, 
up a little bit off of the firing channel. It's a little bit unstable. And so it pulls a little bit too hard to fly straight. Yeah. All right, back to the drawing board. All right. So, what you do not see is Iocane powder. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, I mean fishing line. There is some fishing line coiled up somewhere on there. And I assure you, it's not just a camera resolution problem because I'm here in real life and I don't know where the rope is. But we've kind of strung it. Oh, 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 I can kind of see it. I see it if the rain glistens off of it at a certain angle. While that's it's right. Moving around, but that's about it. Well, we've got some very fine fishing lines, so the mass is not going to be a problem here. That's for darn sure. Uh, let's see if we can make this work. I am behind you and ready when you are. All right. In three, two, one. And it took all of the slack and would have pulled out from the spool if it didn't get all tangled up on the spool. <laughs> so, yeah, that worked. Good shot. Here. So, that launch worked remarkably well. I've got a fishing line up into that tree. And if I put that near the camera, you can kind of see where it's going a little bit. It's all the way up into that tree, and Dave over there has the end. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Can you go uh, show the knot? So we've got ugly knot tied between the yellow rope that was too heavy for the crossbow, crossbow uh, tied to the end of the fishing line, which was perfect for the crossbow. And so now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this, but I'm just going to wind up that fishing line onto that spool and that'll pull the rope over that branch. So let's see how well this works. All right, so the last time worked well, except for the fact that we didn't get over a good branch. We got over a little tiny branch, and as I, as I was pulling up the yellow line, the uh, it just fell right off the branch. So Dave is gonna try again. We have paid out more line, a lot more line. Um, again, you can't see it. It's all the way over there on the black asphalt. Um, so we're going to do this again with much more feed line and, and shooting better at a load bearing branch. Here we go in three, two, one. I think that'll do pig. That'll do. I, I, I don't even see it. Neither do I. It may not come down. Except that it's still pulling out a uh, fishing line. <laughs> so, okay. I think we're in good shape. Let's go hunt down where your bolt went. All right, so we uh, got the rope up to the branch. It got stuck on something, and some jerk was a little overzealous with uh, pulling on the rope to try and get it up over the branch, and the fishing line snapped. We're going to try this again. We've got less fishing line because as we pulled it down, we also got it all tangled up. But we think we've got enough to get up to the branch, and it's already tied to the rope on this side. So uh, we think we're in good shape. If nothing else, we know we have a proof of concept that this will work. We just need a little thicker, uh, stronger fishing line. So we're going to give it a, a second try, and if this doesn't work, maybe a third try, and then we're probably going to call it for a day if this doesn't work out. Because it's getting more and more rainy. It's time. getting rainier and yep. colder. Welcome to Washington. All right, when you're ready, sir. Move to your right. right. Move, moving to my right. Come on. In three, two, one. That was a much lower shot. Was that it intentional? Was, yes. Okay. Just trying to stay clear of all the crap in the high branches. Don't know what it got. Uh, okay. Well, let's go find out. All right, that's it. We give up. It's cold. It's rainy. There is a bolt up in that tree somewhere that uh, we weren't able to get to come down. We're, uh, I think we're done. For today. Uh, for today. We know that this is a good proof of concept. We know what we need to do. Uh, we need to have um, probably a heavier bolt and or, uh, well, and some stronger fishing line to be able to get that yellow rope, get that pulled up into the tree 
without getting snagged on branches, or if it does get snagged on branches, that we can kind of yank and tug without the, without the line snapping. So, but we've made some progress. We know what we're doing now. We know where to go from here. And next time I'm up, I'm up in Washington, I'm gonna help Dave make this happen, assuming he doesn't get to it before I get come up. So anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.